Hello everybody and welcome to Taft's Word. This is going to be a preview of uh, tomorrow's match against Carlisle United at home at Rodney Parade. Back at home after a fantastic last result against Swindon, winning 2-0 at their place considering how well they've done. And the good news kept flooding in. Obviously everybody who is county, who is actually alive, will know that um, our manager Michael Flynn has now signed a new deal. He's now contracted with the club until 2022. Uh, this was tweeted by the club. Breaking news, NCAFC is delighted to announce that my manager Michael Flynn has signed an improved and extended contract with the club. The new deal extends Michael's contract to June 2022. So, happy days. I mean, for many different reasons. First of all, it's going to deter clubs from coming in for him. It's going to give him something that he'll deserve. I'd imagine that would have come with a pay rise and a better bonus structure for him. Well deserved. You know, I'd personally chip in to uh, make sure that we were able to give him that pay rise if that was the case. But for, he's, he's got a new contract. He more than deserves it. He deserves his step up. But he's got unfinished business to do. As in the Argus, um, Podge has come out and said that you know all the players are expecting him to move on. But when he finishes the job here at Newport, I mean, we're a club close to his heart. I don't think he he'll jump onto a bigger job until he feels feels as though he's done what he can for the club. I mean, he's already performed miracles for us, as you would have seen the picture of, uh, before, you know, calling him the Newport Miracle Man, 100% he is. And we're taken into a very good position now um, after that win at Swindon. Where a win now tomorrow against Carlisle will see us in the position, if, if a lot of results have got to go our way, of course, but we could end up finishing... Um, uh, the day in top spot because we're only two points off the top. I mean, the likelihood of it is very unlikely, but the fact we're even talking about it is uh, something pretty amazing. I mean, uh, going on to our opponents now, Carlisle, I mean, uh, they currently reside, as you can see there, in 16th place, not doing too well, but starting to put a couple of wins together at home. Um, if you look at the head to head between us and Carlisle, as you can see, We've won six of the last ten meetings. I think there's only been ten meetings since um, they were relegated from League One in the 2013-14 season. And then we won all of the encounters up until they beat us during our um, Great Escape season. Um, since then, we've only beaten them the once, and that was in the very last game that we played against them, beating them 2-0 in March this year last season so obviously carlisle will always have a decent budget because of uh, their home support is very good so they're always going to have a decent team whether they play well is another thing i'm not a big fan of their manager stephen presley i don't think he's a great manager but we'll wait and see how things go tomorrow their top scorer at the moment is olufela olamola i think i've said that right he was one of the key players for Yeovil when we got battered 6-0 by them at Rodney Parade last season. He's currently scored five goals. So, you know, they've got players who are finding the net. And the next player I'm going to mention we know extremely well. He's Harry McCurdy. We had on loan from Aston Villa last season. He is their player now. We signed for them. I think we missed a trick by not signing him ourselves. But... You know, I'm happy with who we've got because we've done well so far, but he has got four goals for them. Um, I've got to mention Nathaniel Knight-Percival, who for me is a good, really, really good defender, uh, a, a cracking League 2 slash League 1 defender. Um, I think they've got a very good player on their hands there, and he could be um, a match for Jamil Matt, if Jamil Matt starts, of course, tomorrow. And from their midfield, you've got Nathan Thomas. Uh, he's chipped in with two goals. He's a cracking midfielder. Um, so I'm fully expecting him to have a good game for them as well. So for us, um, going on from last week, personally, I would start with the same eleven that started against Swindon. I think they were absolutely phenomenal. That's if we've got no suspensions or injuries. Nothing really that I know of, if, unless Labardi's going to be eight. Um, I should really have checked the injury list and or any updates on injuries and things like that. But um, I know we're not far away from being able to put put out a very good team um, that's more than capable of getting the win tomorrow. And in front of the home crowd, you know nobody's won at Rodney Parade since was it February 
So it's a, it's a long time for us to, to go unbeaten at home. So I don't think a team that's currently sitting in 16th place is going to come and topple that record. But it is League 2. Anything can happen. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, there's a bit of a conundrum for old Flinney on who he plays at front. And I think being at home, I think he could quite comfortably play Jammer, Abrahams and Podge all in the same starting eleven. But who does he drop out of the midfield? I thought Wilmot had a cracking game against... Well, they all had a cracking game against Swindon. Personally, like I say, I would go with the team that started that game myself. And I think Labardi might be nobbled a little. You know, I know he came off in a bit, bit of a bad way. Whether it was a precautionary thing, I don't know. But um, we'll have to wait and see what the manager does. Um, you know, the, Flinney's judgment has been quite impeccable so far this season. Uh only a couple of games where we've not looked too good. That's obviously the Northampton game and the uh, Macclesfield game. So we'll have to wait and see. So, yep, that's all we got time for on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, see you all at the game tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, as always, cheerio for now and up the county. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed and as always up the county.